Things don't always go according to plan. So there is bad news, bad news, we, we, we jumped the gun. But over the course of building together for four years, we've become well-versed in taking the good with the bad. How do you feel? Like a failure, Josh. With over 5,000 pounds of stone needing to be installed in our foundation, we put our heads down and start grinding until we can't grind anymore. I'm wearing down and like all I can think about is tacos at this point. So our goal is to frame up around this door opening. We're gonna take our two by six, we'll put up just like this, and another two by six, gonna sit directly on top like that. Maybe something like that. And uh, we'll get it all screwed in and up. Then we'll go through and stain. The reason why we're doing this first, we want a nice good finished look. So we get it up first, it's gonna be easier versus uh, fighting this wood on there against the stone. So we'll put this wood up and the stone's gonna butt against the wood. So let's slide it off, pick it up, and we'll pull it over. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So these All two right. boards are up. Yeah. We're running to a small little snafu. It's not a big one, it's a small one. A real small one. It's just so small that I can't find a piece to fit it. <laughs> I guess. So the issue we're having is you guys can see the board's gonna come up this way. If we stop it right here, or we bring it all the way up to there, it's gonna look like we messed up, leaving this entire thing wide open. It's gonna look like a mistake. So what we need is a board to come from here across the entire thing to cover everything up. And so this board on the front of here comes up and stops right there. So my issue is I got about a half inch, a half inch gives me an inch. So I do have a uh, one, I'm gonna have one inch behind the two by the put right there, the one inch gap. It's not a big deal, it's really not. I'm gonna know it's there because the board we put behind is three quarters of an inch, it's gonna suck it in a quarter inch. So. I think we'll live, Josh. We'll live. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I know, but it's gonna be wrong, I know it's, it's wrong. It's gonna be covered by the door Oop. the majority of the time anyways. You know, because the door is gonna be closed, it's gonna be covered by the door, it's not, it's... Until I have a friend come over and open the door and they're gonna point it out. They're not a friend if they point it out. <laughs> they're not a friend if they don't point it out. <laughs> <laughs> Restless old turn and leave Tomorrow's unknown mysteries I'm leaving I end up wearing mine Wonder how will I lie How's to be gone We're about, a little bit, about an inch and an eighth We're about an inch and an eighth So What's an inch and an eighth? Dimensional lumber. Do you know what's about an inch and an eighth? What? A deck board. No way. Yes, it is, and I have one. You have this weird luck with being able to find like the perfect size stone to fit in an unusual spot or the perfect piece of wood. That's why I save everything. I know. We do. <laughs> we have a massive like scrap or just like unused extra lumber pile and like pieces of. You never know what you need, and I needed this. I didn't know I needed it, but I found I needed it today, and I have a piece. I can do both sides now and be done with it without an issue. So exciting. Oh. Such a win. It's definitely a win.
so cute. So it's that time of Action. year where all the sheep start to lose their wool coats. And you can see on Leon, all of this is coming off. He's got his undercoat right here. He's getting ready for summertime in that warm weather. These guys are hair sheep, so they don't actually have to be sheared. They just go out into the woods or they'll go along the fence. He especially loves the wire fence that we've put up. Um, not because it blocks him out <laughs> of the house, but because he can rub his sides up against that and get all of this, all of this to pull off. So you can see how, how thick this is, how short it is right here. And it just comes off in little chunks like this. Like that, that's a big one that's coming off of there. You're gonna look good this summer. You're gonna be so much more comfortable. Good boy, Leon. We pay close attention to where our food comes from. Buying what's right for our family is a big decision, especially when it comes to meat and seafood. Thankfully, ButcherBox makes it easy. They are the sponsor of today's video and a company that we are happy to share with you about because they care about improving the livelihood of farmers and doing better for our planet. Being that we are in West Virginia, it can be tough to come by good quality seafood. With ButcherBox, we can order their high quality wild caught salmon, which is sustainably harvested and free of antibiotics and added hormones. That's just one of the reasons why we trust ButcherBox as our go-to source for seafood and meat. From wild caught seafood to 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, and pork raised crate free. They have something for everyone and they partner with farmers and suppliers that are dedicated to doing the right thing. Never cutting corners and always looking for ways to improve. ButcherBox is also one of 3,700 companies to become a certified B Corporation. This certificate is given to companies who are committed to being mission driven and using their force for good. If you're looking for high quality meat you can feel good about, I highly recommend ButcherBox. Check them out at our link in the description description box below. New members will get two pounds of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef in every box for the lifetime of their membership. Thanks again ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the build. That'll work. Yeah, definitely works. So the issue that we were having guys in the last section, you saw me using the hammer and beating the hell out of uh, stone and breaking them all in half and I wasn't trying to. I needed that little nut that goes on the end of my grinder here. Now I have a uh, grinder wheel that will cut stone and we're good to go. So now we get to this portion of this wall. You can see how we're gonna put stone up here. Um, we don't wanna turn our stone sideways and come down like that. We want it to be straight and perfect and nice. So I'm about to put it up and now I'm able to cut a nice cut and Aaron can uh, love me and think I'm great with doing my job. Cause I am the stone master and she's a concrete man. Is that correct? <laughs> And we're the dream team, you know? Is that what it is, dream team? Stone and concrete. Stone and concrete. I'm not a stonemason at all. <laughs> I am a concrete guy, though. <laughs> you look like one. <laughs> about that actually I think it looks great actually okay do you like it yeah that's the first one huh first stone of the day all right So the good news is that the door passes the stone as we planned out and expected it to. I yes. know there was a lot of questions about that, but we did in fact take that into account. We were thinking that day, Yes. but today we apparently were not thinking because yesterday we planned out that we were gonna come out and stain all of this, but Josh had trimmed out around the door. Yeah. And so. then we didn't do it. And our whole reason for doing that before starting the stone was because I'm gonna get stain all over these stones if I try to edge in there. No, like... you, no you're not. So there is bad news. The bad news, we, we, we jumped the gun. The good news is that she's good with the paintbrush. Oh, I think you got a little more faith in me than you should. 
Well, you get all this right there. We're gonna get mortar in, in there too, so we'll, we'll be close. You know, I got faith. Okay. She's thanks. really good at the paintbrush. Thanks. <laughs> see, we were, I guess, we're a little too trigger happy on that one. We just jumped the gun. Yeah, yeah. I was really excited to see all the stone up and just wasn't thinking. We got rolling, like, we got everything set up, all the stone laid out, and then I was yes. like, all right, let's start mixing mortar, and then naturally you just start putting stone up. So we're gonna keep on doing stone, we're gonna do the stain. Ugh. Well, we can't. I mean, if we're gonna do stone, we can keep going that way, but. Yeah. Um, I should probably just stain it. Let's just stain it. it over with. I agree, 100%. Yeah. I'll help you. <laughs> Staying here. Okay. No big deal. I'll get, I'll get covered up by some mortar. Okay, that's an issue. What's an issue? Right there. No, we'll, okay. We'll, we'll grind it down. It's not a big deal. How do you feel? Like a failure, Josh. You're not. You're amazing. <laughs> Looking scarce here, Josh. We need a new palette. So I think we have about 50 stones left to go. We made a lot of progress, but I'm at the point now where I've like, I've hit that wall. I'm like extremely sunburnt. Um, I'm wearing down, and like all I can think about is tacos at this point. We keep Aaron happy after a long, hard day. <laughs> Makes me happy too. We're, we're eating partners, okay? <laughs> we feed ourselves, and that's what gets us, keeps us moving. Yeah, yeah. I like to eat. It keeps me going. Nothing fancy, you know. Yeah, just some tacos. Love you know, Mexican food's my favorite. I know. Yeah. If you didn't know we're doing Mexican tonight. <laughs> I need shade. That's what I need. <laughs> yeah. I wore sunscreen, but I am like so white. How come you show sunscreen? I didn't get any. I'm you burnt, don't, dude. You're not. You don't burn though. That's the thing. You don't. I just like. That's why I always wear a hat because all I do is yeah. burn. She's a pasty patty. I am. I need to hide in like a hoodie away from the sun. I'm burnt. It hurts. Summer hasn't even started. Oh, oh my sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. Can't. Oh, you're sweaty. <laughs>
and we are done for the night. Thank goodness. I know, right? Oh, I'm exhausted and I'm burnt to a crisp. <laughs> my neck burns, my arms burn. And you are a, a lobster right now. I know. So. Feed me tacos and call me baby. <laughs> you ask me twice, girl. <laughs> Through. Both of us. I'm so glad I never have to do stone on another wall again. You kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me have these few minutes, Josh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pretend we're finished.